So, hello, Dr. Ashwini. How are you? Good evening, sir. I'm fine. So, very happy to meet one more successful doctor named Dr. Ashwini. So, we have one more colleague, who is Dr. Ashwini Kumar. You all know our best anatomy faculty. So, I'm very happy to say that we have got one more uh, Dr. Ashwini with us. So, I hope you are very happy with the grand success. And I'll inform all the viewers right now that he's Dr. Ashwini Kumar and he got a rank of 136 in the recently conducted INICT exam. And I think it's a marvelous rank he got. And I really wish from the entire team of DVMC, all the faculty, that he get one of the best possible seats and be one of the most successful doctors. So, tell me a bit about your journey. Sir, so, uh, so I joined uh, MBBS in 2018 in SP Medical okay. College, Kharkar. Which college? And... Uh, Sir, uh, uh, sir uh, like uh, I used to prepare normally for all the exams and uh, okay. I used to mostly study from the textbook. But during the final year and all, it became a bit uh, uh, difficult to only study for the from the textbooks for the sake of the entrance exams. So I decided to take the one-shot revision program by DBMCA that I, I got to know about from one of my friends. So after taking the program, I uh, realized that uh, like uh, a very vast subject content has been made concise uh, beautifully by the faculties uh, in this program and uh, like within uh, two or three hours every subject we can cover it and we can revise it very easily and that definitely helped me a lot in uh, revising multiple times before the exams and uh, like particularly the first year and second year subjects which are uh, which contain a lot of concepts and there are uh, even other factual things that are difficult to remember if we read the entire subject content. That's but true, that's the true. faculties have all made it very easy and uh, it helped me a lot. Okay. Uh, and uh, first thing is, were you preparing since the beginning of the MBBS or only focus on the later part? Ki, let's say final year or internship will be, you know, doing the preparation more. Uh, so I was uh, mostly... Uh, we have started preparing focus for the exams mainly uh, from my fourth year onwards, third year and fourth year onwards. So, and uh, so, I mean, like in, during the internship also with the duties in hand, it was not uh, possible to devote a lot of time to uh, look at the complete uh, like uh, subject. So I needed a source that would help me study in a concise and precise manner. So that I can focus on what is the most important. Uh, regarding second thing, what would be your advice to the people who are going to appear for now the next INICT plus also the NEET PG? Maybe it occurs in April, May, no one knows. But what will be strategy? Because there are, I think, only five, six months left for the next two exams that is INICT yes. in the May and the uh, NEET PG. So, uh, so definitely, sir, if uh, we are uh, targeting for the ne uh, next INICD or the uh, yes. NEET exam, then uh, uh, it's probably in the May, June, something like that. So Most likely. The next, so within the next uh, six months or so, uh, the main thing is like we should uh, prepare a plan so that we can, uh, uh, during the, let us say, in the last one month, I can have two revisions of the entire uh, syllabus. So okay. I need to complete my first, uh, like I need to complete my first division maybe in uh, two months. Then mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, the second division in one more month. So that I can, uh, the revision of, of doing revision multiple times is the key to uh, that's, that's getting the success. So and what do you suggest? I would uh, request, uh, and I would also hey, want everyone to give uh, uh, like more and more tests and practice more questions, which is uh, much more important than just uh, studying the content. So GT should be done after I've revised or before that mother, what is the solution regarding the giving of test? Sir, uh, GTs can be, uh, so, so normally I should, uh, I would recommend that GTs can be given even before we have completed uh, the revision. So, so that we can get a feel of uh, like what the exam pattern is going to be. And That's true. Uh, Accordingly, like if I give a GT once, I know what type of questions are coming. And when I'm studying further, I can also focus on very specific points. And mm -hmm. uh, giving GTs helps in uh, doing further revision, not only 
that uh, revision will help in giving this that's true uh, and second is what will be your suggestion regarding one shot program because lots of people are no, not very clear. Ki what is one shot? So, how you use and what will be the role for the students who are preparing for the next two exams? Uh, yes, sir. Exactly. Like uh, the one shot revision program, even when I had taken it, uh, like uh, uh, initially I had thought that uh, how can such a huge syllabus be covered in that's, such a short span of time? Were, just 19 you know, days. Afraid, how to concise this much in this five, yes, six sir. hours? I think I took so, physiology for well, five hours uh, and that, yes. Even I was like, uh, initially, I thought that, uh, is it really possible? Then I took the program and I realized that uh, it is just wonderful. Like how the faculties have done the job of uh, uh, bringing out the what is the most important thing. And like in very few points, they are covering a lot of things. That's so nice. that uh, uh, it really is uh, uh, it gets imprinted in your brain. And uh, if you want to revise it again, uh, I watch, uh, let us say, in 19 or 20 days, all the subjects are revised. And then I can revise the, it again within 10 days. Uh, whatever I've made the notes from it or whatever the PDFs I get from the uh, faculties, I can revise it again in 10 days. And when I do further revision, I can even reduce the time. So it is it becomes very much easier to do multiple revisions. And hence, uh, it's definitely uh, a much uh, useful tool for uh, for the exams. Because in INICT, what happened this time, lots of PYQs were there. And on our one-shot material, yes, we used mainly the PYTs. So, example, in uh, physiology, if I try to recall four or five questions, there was a question on hemoglobin curve, left sheet, right sheet. We covered that in one shot. Yes. Receptor, Meisner, Merkel, two point. We said blind. Please mark yes. this answer only. Don't write anything else. This question also came. Okay. Yes, then we have the matching of the receptor. I said pig, tarzine kinase insulin will come in this exam also. It was there. Okay, then matching of the uh, this cell junction. Okay, I think that question was also there. So I think in total there were six, seven questions. Most were covered by one shot in physiology. Yes, sir. Most of the questions were uh, like covered in one shot. Like even microbiology and pathology, and uh -huh. uh, also many questions from biochemistry also. They were uh, mostly covered in the one shot revision. And uh, like uh, when I was giving the exam, I could uh, really I felt very nice when I could uh, remember the. Uh, the, the screen when I was watching the video and I could uh, answer it correctly. And so last question, what you will like to take in your MDMS and uh, what are your future plans? Uh, so, uh, I'm currently uh, uh, like uh, I'm just uh, seeing the uh, I wanted to take uh, surgery as a uh, as my uh, post graduation. So I'm currently discussing with my seniors like uh, which institute should be preferred and uh, I'll accordingly take it. So whatever field you take, my only advice is the person who gave his 100% and just drowned yes. is the one who's going to be successful. Anyone who takes yes, half-heartedly, see, it's your future. You're going to spend yes, next sir. 40, 50, maybe all life in that field. Yes, very rarely you can get an exit, very rarely. So better make a very good choice. And once your choice is done, don't even think about anything. It's like a marriage. You are now yes. married. You should yes. not even be looking at any other, you know, like option. So that is what my suggestion is. Give your best. Whatever I took, I yes. took. I'm very proud I took and I'm very happy because I chose. And then I was able to give my best. And whatever I have is because I never ever yes. look at any other subject. Even if someone say good, bad, don't listen to anyone. What you feel, do it. Yes. And I really wish you best of luck and be the best doctor in your field. And hopefully one day we'll be seeing you again doing much greater things in life. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Most welcome. Thank you. Take care.